All right, what's up everybody? Shadow here. Welcome back to another video. Glad you guys could stop by today. We are back inside of Call of Duty. We're going to be talking more about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is the second part of my sort of three-part catch-up series. So we're talking about what we know and what we sort of just everything about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, essentially. So if you missed the first part yesterday, you should definitely check it out. We basically covered everything that we know about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. All the facts, all the details, all the rumors type of stuff. If you may have missed that, missed that go ahead and check it out. It was pretty in-depth and I think you guys might learn a thing or two from that but today we're gonna to be talking about the different editions of Call of Duty and if you guys don't know uh, the last three years I've ordered a special edition of Call of Duty I have I'm a very big fan of the sort of collectible editions that they have there the whole little package design and everything I'm really it's just a little thing I'm really interested in it so today we're gonna to be talking about the few editions that they have already released which I'm actually pretty excited because uh, the past Call of Duties they've only released the standard edition of Call of Duty at this point but this time they released pretty much every version of the game which is pretty cool so we all get to check it out and sort of see what they have going so without further ado let's get into the first edition all right so as you can see on the screen right here this is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare standard edition of it is of course for ps4 pc and for xbox one even though it just shows the ps4 edition right here but basically it's just the standard edition 60 dollars you can get it for one of those three consoles or pc of course and it's just going to come with the base game call of duty infinite warfare i don't think people are going to go for this too much i think people are going to go for the next edition i'm going to talk about right now but essentially this comes out november 4th 2016 it just comes with the game and it costs 60 dollars. that's the first edition now, the next edition, which it probably is going to be the most popular of all four of them, is the Legacy Edition, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition. This is going to include the base game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The full game comes out November 4th, but it's also going to include a download code for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. It's going to include the campaign, plus 10 multiplayer maps. They've released only half of the list of the multiplayer maps they're going to be including in the game. The other five, I'm sure they'll release over time, but it's going to come with just the game and the remastered version. It's going to cost $80, so 20 more dollars in get yourself a full copy of cod for modern warfare remastered with the campaign and 10 maps which is going to look spectacular and honestly it's worth the extra 20 bucks if you're going to just get that and honestly if you don't even want infinite warfare i'm sure i'm sure people are going to be selling the code online probably going to be more than 20 bucks but hey it beats spending 80 if you're not going to play the original game now we're getting into the bigger versions of the game this is infinite warfare legacy pro edition it's going to come with the call of duty infinite warfare base game as well as the modern warfare remastered download code featuring the 10 maps for multiplayer and the campaign but it is also going to include the season pass for call of duty infinite warfare as you guys can see here in the picture this is directly from the call of duty website it just has season pass underneath call of duty infinite warfare now because there's only 10 multiplayer maps in modern warfare people have rumored that there's going to be a separate season pass for modern warfare it's not confirmed would seem likely those considering activision they like their money. So I, I would assume that there would be a season pass or if they were just lazy and they didn't want to do it, they just put a little bit of time into it. Give them what they want. Just don't put too much time into it. Don't put too much investment into it. They might not come out with the season pass, but this is going to come with the season pass, the hardcover, steelbook type thing, especially the little special case. They're getting a lot slimmer nowadays, I've noticed. They've taken a lot of the little goodies out, like Black Ops 2 had the, the drone in it and Ghost had a camera, and now they infinite not Infinite Warfare, sorry, Advanced Warfare had just a bunch of download stuff, and then pretty much every other Call of Duty sort of followed that type of thing, except for Black Ops 3, which had a freaking fridge, but this one doesn't look like it's coming up with anything spectacular, it looks like it's just going to be the game, Season Pass for Infinite Warfare, and the Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as the soundtrack and a steelbook for $120 for PS4 and Xbox One, I will note that it is not for PC, and also it's going to include additional bonus content that they haven't released now, but I'm sure they'll release later on in the future, so that's that. And last but not least the last edition is going to be the infinite warfare digital deluxe edition which is in the name it's going to be a digital download that you can purchase on the playstation 4 or xbox one website probably steam i would think but anyway it comes with the infinite warfare game comes with call of duty modern warfare download code well they're both download codes so to speak but it comes with two games <laughs> digital as well as the season pass uh, it doesn't say that it includes any other digital content like the other one did and does not include steelbook or the soundtrack, which I guess isn't really too big of a big deal because, honestly, let's be honest, the last soundtracks haven't been too amazing, in my opinion. Uh, but it comes with those two things plus a season pass for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So uh, this is going to cost $100. It's going to be $20 cheaper than the, uh, di on the, what's it called, the pro version of Infinite Warfare, which includes the Steelbook and the soundtrack and everything so those are the four copies of the game so now that we have all the copies broken down side by side by side by side let's go over each of them and 
basically just overview all of them. I'll give you guys my personal recommendations depending on how much you want this game. So if you just want Infinite Warfare, nothing else, if you hate COD 4 Modern Warfare or you're just frankly not interested in going back in time, reliving those days, then you can just get the standard edition. Honestly, it's the cheapest, 60 bucks, get you the game, no big deal, it launches November 4th. Easy pickings, just go in and grab the game, you're done. Now, most people are going to get the Legacy Edition, even if you haven't played COD 4 a lot, like I, personally myself. I haven't played this game a ton. I actually sold it because it was like 20 bucks at GameStop. Sorry, sorry, everyone, don't kill me in the comments. But anyway, <laughs> uh, the Legacy Edition, 80 bucks, $20 more. You get a full copy of Modern Warfare, honestly. If you guys even like hear about everyone if you hear everyone just going crazy over cod for modern warfare getting a remaster you know it's got to have some credibility so honestly most people are going to get this i do recommend that you get this now if you're going for the season pass if you are a call of duty fan all the way 100 percent the big change comes between the digital deluxe edition and the legacy pro edition now they both come with the season pass modern warfare and the infinite warfare uh combo now the really only difference is the physical portion of the legacy pro edition it costs 20 more dollars 120 but it includes a physical memorabilia in a sense also if the game becomes old or you don't want to play it anymore you can also resell it so there is some resale value probably as well as collectible value obviously because you get some other stuff and it says please note that it says additional bonus content on the legacy pro edition which costs 120 dollars and on the digital deluxe edition which costs 100 dollars it does not say digital content so what is ever going on in here i have no idea but whatever you're getting in the 120 dollar version you're obviously getting exclusively uh, versus the digital deluxe edition but if you think about it in a way the digital deluxe edition makes the season pass twenty dollars versus fifty bucks like they normally are or vice versa even looking at the legacy pro edition makes it forty bucks and then you get additional bonus content so whichever one you go with if you want the season pass you're still getting a good deal whether it's thirty bucks off or ten bucks off the original price of the season pass honestly not that bad of a deal but yeah those are the four editions of call of duty infinite warfare coming out this year let me know what you guys think of it personally myself i'm leaning more towards the legacy pro edition honestly i'm going be real with you guys i like opening cardboard crap it's fun to do it gives you a nice little steelbook collector's memorabilia and also there's some collector's appeal like that like i said the last three call of duties i've had have all been steelbooks and i like to add that to my collection you know what i'm saying just sort of put off to the side never going to touch because i don't want to get scratched actually one guy i went over to a friend's house and he actually sat on my steelbook and dented it so i bought another copy of the game for like way cheaper it's call of duty ghost no one really cares about it. anyway but that got a little bit off topic. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. What version are you guys getting? What are you leaning towards? Are you just going to get Modern Warfare? Are you going to like look up the code, find someone who's selling the code exclusively? But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.